Hello everyone, welcome to Data Gym Center once again. Um, today we will continue with uh, uh, what we discussed in the last tutorial that is about uh, importing data set into SAS. Uh, in the last tutorial, we talked about how to import data set from an Excel worksheet. And uh, so, uh, we were able to uh, successfully import a large data set and uh, we printed the first five observations as well as uh, look at the contents of uh, the file. Um, this is pretty much uh, uh, the same format for CV, uh, CSV file, <laughs> excuse me, uh, except that uh, there are a couple of things that we'll be uh, removing. Um, to start with, uh, we'll just go to this, and this is simply how uh, it is. So we are importing a data set called Iris. Um, here is the data set called Iris. Let's just open it and have a look at, uh, at the data set. Okay, here we have the species of uh, the flowers. We have the sepal length, the width, the petal length, as well as the petal width. So we have um, the character variable, which is the species. We have the setosa, uh, the seed color, and then virginica. So that's pretty much what will be important today. So we know that uh, it has uh, its own. Uh, variable name, so uh, that is important in uh, in uh, in factor. Uh, we we'll factor that in uh, in the import statement. So that is important uh, information. So to do that, we are pretty much going to do uh, what we did the last time. So here we have declared this path here as DIR. Okay, so we still the same thing as what we have here. So it's DIR, which is directory, short for directory. Um, we can just do something. We can just copy over this, down to this, and just paste. Okay, so we have um, the directory, which is still this, um, and then the the data in which is the name of the data set since it's high risk it's short short enough we can just uh, delete this so we are only going to make use of this uh, directory here we have the die remember what we did last time we um, had it um, an ampersand before adding our directory and then followed by the full stop so that full stop means that the uh, the macro dir ends there and then we continue with uh, the name of the file and the extension so here the name of the file is csv i just opened it uh, minutes ago uh still the same proc import then our data file which is uh, as the name implies uh is the data uh, the file that contains the data um, or the file that contains the information that we want to import and here the dbms is csv remember how uh, here we use the dbms as xls because we are sls x because we are importing excel so here the dbms is csv and then the out we name it iris and replace which is similar to what we have here and then the only thing we didn't have was we have sheet range or get names we don't need it here the sheet because csv file don't usually uh, have multiple sheets so it uses the default sheet so and the get names um uh we may not need that argument for instance if the data set uh, the data set we are interested in capturing stats on uh, the first and uh, the third row then we can just uh, pass the argument data row and then indicate uh, which uh, row the data starts from 
uh, by number, maybe one, two, three. So, and that can be helpful in that case. So, but with this, uh, with this example that we have here, this uh, should suffice. So let's just run it. So let's go to the log. We show everything run well. Okay, so it's 100, I think there's a problem with this log out, uh, output. So 150 rows created in IRA. So it was successfully uh, done. So we just print, print the first five observations. You see? Now we have the first five observations. Um, we also pretty much uh, want to do the pro content thing. So we just want to run this and we see that this, the species is the character, the sepal length is a numerical variable as well as the other uh, variables here, they are all numerical. So um, one of the things that I didn't explain in the last tutorial is the fact that these information are important, but that uh, we are only interested in the uh, uh, this box here. So for us to just capture only this box, we need to use this uh, ODS statement. So let's uh, let's uncomment this. It was commented out. Uh, so SAS will treat this as a comment. So it won't evaluate that. So when once it is uncommented, um, it's activated, then we can just run both together. So remember the output here, we have how many tables? We have a one which is the content procedure table and a bunch of other information, the engine, the version 9. Um, uh, here we have uh, the engine host, size, and a bunch of other information that we don't need. So we're only interested in this. So let's just run that uh, command and uh, you see what happens. So you see, this is the new line. Now. So this line delineates what we have previously. You see from what we just have now so now we are able to capture only this table that we are interested in so the, um, how we did it how we are able to uh, trim it down to just that table will be explained in uh, in future tutorials so i hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, remember again just a recap that we are interested in importing the data, the data iris from this directory Okay. So we have represented this entire directory as DIR. So wherever you use DIR within this uh, in this uh, SAS session, SAS will automatically treat it as uh, this directory. So that's why we have it here. So for you to call, since it's the macro, for you to call it, you had an ampersand before the name of the macro DIR. Okay. And then you had a dot to complete or to end the macro if there are uh, other things you want to specify. So then the framework for uh, proc uh, CSV is proc import and uh, sorry, proc uh, import. Uh, yeah, yeah, the framework for the proc import in this case for importing CSV file, that's what I meant. Uh, is proc import and then run. Then you have data file, you have BBMS, you have a house. Depending on the structure of your CSV file, you may need additional ag uh, argument here to, to be able to get uh, the data imported. So, but for this uh, exercise or for this uh, uh, example, uh, I think uh, this is just uh, sufficient to, to get data set into SAS. So we printed that is just by passing only this we are interested in um, in only the first five observations. Okay, so, and uh, we need the pro content. When you run only this, uh, see what happened. It gave us about three different uh, boxes. So we are not interested in that. We're only interested in the information contained in this box. So we want to print only this box. So we want to ODS select output delivery system. We want to select only Table called position. Okay, the table called position, and then uh, you uh, you end the selection here, and then you when you run it, you have the table. So hope that helps. So uh, see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.